We've got the 2022 World Champions Navi taking on a new team out of North America, VA Esports. Both of these hard-hitting teams putting up lots of triples. Let's take a look. Dobbs is in. So kicking off the match for VA Esports. Dobbs bringing in a Lalo here. Queen charge Lalo. He's got a Flame Flinger on the top side of the base. And in on the top left side. Gets locked onto by the Expo early, but the healers are in. No big deal. Yeah, Super Barb's off to the left. He's going to try to push this Queen straight in. we got a wall break into that air defense. Actually opens up so the Queen can go into this lower compartment, but she's kind of headed up towards the top at the moment. She should go back. There she goes. So she'll go back down in into this Ricochet Cannon multi archer Tower compartment. Then we got the King on the left side. He will go in for the enemy Queen. He's got a wall break there so he can walk straight in. Perfect. And Blinger's still rolling on the top side. Should eventually go for that scatter shot. Queen's still getting through this compartment on the left side. Does he have another wall breaker? He does have one more. Can he break this queen all the way into the core? That'd be kind of OP. King goes down to Phoenix. We do have a defensive Lava Hound there. All right, there's the wall break. Perfect. Queen has access to the entire core of the base. She's gonna have to get through the CC troops first. He does have the poison to help with the lava pups. Down goes the scatter shot on the top side. Not quite yet. It will here in a couple more shots. There we go. Queen gets through the lava pups. Continue into the base. Next rage is in. Eagle shots are coming in. Lots of damage onto the queen, but she's fine. Scatter shot did go down on the top side, so the healers won't be in any trouble here. Queen working her way through the town hall. That poison slowing her down. Here we go with the RC and the Lalo from the bottom side of the base. Headhunters in for the enemy RC. Down goes the Town Hall in the core. Queen will be able to grab these other two multis as well. It's looking good so far for Dobbs. He's got a bunch of spells still to work with. Balloons slowly making their way into the base. Going to go ahead and freeze Wizard Tower and Scattershot on the right side. Get a haste in through the core. Queen's going to start working onto the Eagle Artillery now. This Queen Charge is looking good. Tornado spinning some balloons around. More balloons on the right side of the base. The Flame Flinger did open up. I didn't see what came out of there though. Looks like whatever it was, it didn't get much. That multi on the top side getting healed back up, but it's also still being damaged by the fire mites. There we go. Queen will go up and finish it off. The Lalo has died out, but the RC still has an invis, still has her ability, and the fox. And I think he's looking pretty good to start this one off strong. Last couple of balloons on the top side of the base help get through the cannons. RC's ability, and this one is crushed. A nice hit here from Dobbs. And VA Esports kick it off with a three star. Nicely done. Yeti on the left side. Six zaps and a quake. He is indeed coming in with his zap. Lalo once again. Linger still going. Got a couple of minions on the top side. Question is, what's he going to zap out of here? Right now, he's trying to manage that mortar on the left side. We can also take a quick peek at his equipment. You know he likes that healer puppet. She does have equipped. Everything else looks like it's pretty typical. No upgrades on the RC. Uh, of course, I look down at the hero equipment and he does his zaps. <laughs> it looks like he zapped out the multi-archer tower and a couple of buildings behind it. He didn't go for the expo, which is interesting. There we go. Queen's in on the top side of the base. Looks like that flame is going to go left anyway. That's why he didn't go for the expo. All right. Pops that King's ability early. Got to get through the enemy queen. He's going to take that Expo Scatter down. He's actually going to be pushing that Flame Flinger back to the right. He mainly just wants to get that multi down with it. Queen should wrap around. No, she's going to stay on the outside. He's going to go with the Invis to push the Queen back in for the Town Hall. All right, she'll get through the Mortar, target the Town Hall, pop ability, and that'll be secured. He's already gotten really good value with the... Uh, with the opener here. Here we go. Queen's got the Town Hall. Lalo's coming in on the right side of the base. Balloon's pushing in from the right with the Lava Hound. We got CC troops coming out kind of late here. Couple of Super Minions. Lots of Warden's ability. We got some Headhunters in the mix, I believe. Balloon's making their way through in towards that multi on the right side, which is raged up at the moment. He's going to go with the Freeze. Rocket Loon's out of the CC. Going to come in the back side of the base. And he's got Balloons from every direction collapsing in. On these last few defenses in this base is absolutely demolished. I don't know if he lost any balloons in this one. What a hit from P. Castro in Navi. 
Putting up a triple as well in their first attack. He's going to swag his freeze. A couple of troops here. Nicely done from B. Castro. GG. All right, we got Max coming in with the next attack. And he is coming in with the Super Barbarians. Looks like Super Minion Blimp. With only three invis, it seems unlikely that it, would, that it would be Super Archers, but we'll see. We got the Warden's ability. Got the early balloons, Warden. Going to keep them raged up as well. That Tornado Trap is not ideal. It is Super Minions, but that blimp fell well short of what he was going for there. Man, that was a good bait there for Satan's base. Which, Satan is the one of the base builders for Na'Vi, I believe. Drops the Invis on the top side. Trying to get as much as he can out of these Super Minions. Again, he was hoping to get that a little bit deeper to get the Town Hall down with the Minions. He's still going to get pretty good value, but not quite what he was looking for there. King's going to make his way in. He does have to push the heroes into the town hall. Super Barb's around the outside to make sure they go the right way. Headhunter for the enemy king. Unfortunately, the warden not getting that eagle artillery off the bottom side of the base. There's that defensive invis. Queen's in on the right side. Electro Titan's going to help with the skellies. Here we go. King's still making his way into the base. Pops his ability here. Going to be able to get through that monolith quickly. And then the King should secure the Town Hall. There we go. King's on the Town Hall. It will go down in a couple of shots here. There we go. Perfect. King's going to continue around the outside of the base. We got more Super Barbs on the outside as well. Dragon Rider RC from the bottom to get that Eagle Artillery down. And stop it from getting its shots off here. See, working her way through the expo. She's already lost her fox. Looks like it got targeted early. Alright, Ricochet Cannon. Getting some damage on the champion. It's gonna freeze it up. He's still got it. Nice recovery here from Max, and he's able to connect with a three-star as well. Multi Inferno is gonna go down. We got Phoenix on the top left for that spell tower. And then we just need to get the storage down, which he has over a minute left. Beautifully done. And VA are staying into the match right here. Here we go. Gaku is in. We've got some Queen Charge Lalo action here from Gaku. Queen on the top side of the base. Couple of balloon healers. Here we go. It's taking our time. We'll take a quick look at the equipment. Standard stuff here. Nothing surprising. Upgrades on that RC equipment. Got a wall break on the right side. Get that queen in towards the eagle artillery. Rage for the queen. She's getting a little bit low, but she should be fine here. Rage is going to get her healed right back up. She's pathing in kind of a weird angle here. Hopefully she goes back around. She should go back in for the eagle. She can't reach the multi. There we go. All right, queen will get that multi out of the way. We got the king coming in on the right side with a wall break as well. Try to get that king in for the enemy queen for the scatter shot. Whatever else he can get in there. With his ability. There we go. Pops that king's ability. He'll get through the queen in two smacks. There she goes. She actually got the queen and the scatter shot at the same time. That giant gauntlet is absolutely insane. Next wall break for the queen. She does have triple ice golem CC to deal with. But that wall break is beautiful. Gets him even further into the base. Almost all the way to the town hall, but not quite. If he had one more wall break, maybe. But that would have been a tough wall break to connect with. But it doesn't matter, because he is blimping the Town Hall. Lalo coming in from the top left side of the base. Queen's going to be able to grab this multi now that the Ice Golems are out of the way. RC for the multi on the top side of the base. And everything's just kind of coming together here. The blimp does make it to the Town Hall, takes it down. There's not a lot left. He does still have that monolith to get through. That sweeper being a massive pain for the balloons. He's got more balloons from the bottom side. Going to rage him on the outside of the base. Just kind of... Placing some balloons everywhere here. That multi on the bottom side's a little bit scary. But he still has a ton of spells. It's actually not that scary. He's got so many spells left. He just popped the RC's ability. Still has the Queen's ability. It's looking pretty good. There's a freeze. He can freeze it one more time. He's got a rage. See that last freeze come in? Or no, he's just going to hold on to it. He doesn't need it. He's got a headhunter for the enemy king. And that's going to be a triple for Navi. Nicely done. Just a couple of defenses left here on the top right side. Even if the balloons all die out, doesn't make a difference. Nicely done. Also, he's rocking the uh, that RC skin I was talking about yesterday. The Master RC, I think. Or I think it might just be called League RC. Something like that. But it's, it's a pretty good skin. I like it. 
GG's. And Hades is coming in with some Zap Root Riders. Let's see if we can catch what he's going to zap out here. Got a battle drill, no flame flinger. He's gonna start with the warden walk. Get the warden walk going first. And then do the zaps. That way he's not wasting too much time. He gets the expo and the rage tower. And I think he got a bomb tower as well. Looks like he got two expos. Good stuff. Good start. Uh typical equipment. He does have the healing atom with the warden. Here we go. Got some ice golems coming in on the right side. We got the battle drill sent in by itself on the bottom side of the base. It's going to actually path in for the monolith. So he's going to try to battle drill that monolith nice and early here. And here we go. Root Riders in from the left straight into the core of the base. We got super miners on defense. Battle drill opens up, but the yetis will be able to take that monolith down. Hopefully. There we go. Finally. That took longer than I thought it would. Pops out Warden's ability, that healing tome going to heal things up, leading into the middle of the base. Got rage spell down, healers getting raged up as well. Everything's still continuing in towards that town hall. He's going to drop a freeze. Did have that rage tower go off, so that town hall is going to be raged up when it wakes up, and there it is. Going to drop another freeze on the back end for the multi sweeper and bomb tower. Pops the king's ability, trying his best to get through this core. There's a lot of damage in this core. That king's pushing through. Queen's still there. I don't think he has any root riders left in the core. There's one on the outside, but that's about it. It's going to be up to the heroes to finish this one off. But he still has queen ability, still has RC ability. RC coming in from the right side. She's got that root rider actually tanking for her at the moment, which is nice. And we still have a bunch of healers here for the queen. Actually, what are these healers healing? The king's dead. I can't... Oh, there's an Electro Titan there. She was hiding under the king. It's like, there's no way those healers are trying to heal a dead king. All right, well, we got an RC charge. We got the, or not an RC charge, Electro Titan charge. RC's up there to help. This is crushed. He's got no defenses left after that wizard tower. And this is going to be a three star from Mr. Hades. Nicely done once again, plenty of time for the cleanup. And he can pop that RC's ability just for giggles or hold on to it. Doesn't matter either way. It's still gonna be a three star. There we go, boom, boom, boom. VA, get another triple on the board. All right. So this is the uh, the substitute player for Navi today. We'll see if he can get this three star. Stars is unable to play because he got spun into a regular war. The Flame Flinger also took a little bit of early damage from that mortar. It actually took two shots there, which doesn't seem like much, but it takes a big chunk of health off of that Flame Flinger. Take a quick peek at the uh, equipment here. All right. Does he have the RC upgraded? Not quite yet. All right. Warden's still going. We've got the Queen and Root Riders coming in, and here we go. He's just going to full send it opposite side of the town hall. Got that King on the outside. Make sure everything stays in. He's got a bunch of rage spells. He does have a jump spell. What the heck does he have a jump spell for? He's got a Root Rider smash. <laughs> Curious. It might be for the king? I don't know. I'm really curious about that jump spell. But in any case, Root Riders still pushing their way through. Maybe he had it just in case the Root Riders didn't make it to the back end. Yeah, there's the jump, which... Okay. <laughs> that almost had to have been an accident. I don't think he meant to bring a jump spell. There's no way. Alright, he freezes up the town hall. That Flame Flinger does get that scatter shot off the bottom side the yetis not really anything extra there he's get this town hall down but the queen's making her way in she's got the healers the rc also making her way in queen's onto the town hall so it will be secured multi archer tower drops there we go with the town hall the rc is going to get stuck in that poison because she couldn't go around it the fox is already dead so the rc is done that queen getting her way through the expos it's up to her we still have the king actually still on the top side with phoenix I think he's got it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's fine here. Pops that Queen's ability. Gotta get through this multi-inferno. There we go. Queen gets it in one shot. King's gonna fight the enemy king. He's still had a headhunter in the bag here to help get through that. And this is going to be a triple for Navi. So the uh, the substitute player is still able to get it done and keep Navi on their three-star streak. Just 36 seconds left for cleanup. Will be plenty of time. Even if the king goes down, he still has Phoenix. 
But the queen still has healers, so she's chilling. And there's no defense left anyway, aside from the archer tower. Nicely done to Satan's getting it done for the team. What you like to see, even the substitutes for Navi getting some threes on the board. And when all else fails, call in your base builder. Nicely done. Keep it close. Or keep it tight, I guess. What's attack time looking like? VA Esports are 15 seconds faster right now if this comes down to time. There we go. Jesus is in. Let's see if he's still rocking a Lalo. He is. He's going with the Zap Lalo. For those who don't know Jesus, he was one of the best Blizz Lalo players in the world. Probably second only to Stars. But now, he has also switched up to Zap Lalo with Blizz not being as good at you. Not as good as it used to be. Let's see if he still has got it. I haven't seen a, an attack from Jesus in a long time. Here we go. He's got the healing tome with the warden. Okay. Eagle artillery going down for the queen. King on the bottom side of the base. We got a log launcher to go with the queen. All right. It's going to open up into this base, get some damage on some of these buildings. It's also going to help potentially get rid of some of these early clan castle troops if they can get pulled. Got a... Partial pull there. The rest are going to go out to the king. It's ice golems anyway, so it doesn't matter. Can we get that multi inferno down? Log launcher is about to open up. Queen needs to move over. There we go. Hopefully she takes that pathing into the middle here. We got the Lalo coming in towards this town hall area. Here we go. Haste on the left side. Get him in. Get that multi down as quickly as possible. Perfect. King's going to be stuck on walls on the bottom side. We got the RC coming in to help out. Old Lava Hound's making their way through as well. Rage over the Town Hall, pops out Warden's ability, healing a Tome, trying to keep these troops healed up as well. Get them away from that poison, that's the main thing. There we go, Balloon's pushing into the back end, we got more on the top right, top left. Got one freeze in the bag, we still have RC's ability as well, and this is looking good for Jesus. Balloon's still pushing through, there's that freeze, it's going to get some of that damage off the Royal Champion while she's stuck on Skellies. He's got it. Nicely done from Jesus and DA. Put up yet another triple. Beautifully done. Look at all the balloons he still has left alive. GG's. Got well over a minute left in this attack. This is another quick one here for VA. And he pops out RC's ability because he knows that time could very well play a factor in this one. Got a couple of hogs, a couple of barbs. So he's setting up for a flame flinger. Queen is in on the bottom side. Got to fight that enemy king quickly. Actually, he doesn't have a flame flinger selected. He might not be. He's... Just going for that air defense. Okay. He's going to get the mortar as well. These hog riders are actually doing really well. They got a handful of buildings there. Not bad. Queen's getting locked onto by the monolith. We got a couple of CC troops coming out. It's a partial pull so far, not a full pull. And that monolith is absolutely smacking that queen. But she's not going to ability. She's chilling. Now that, I, now that the expo is gone, she's actually fine. She'll work on getting that monolith down. King's on the outside to make sure the queen pushes in for the town hall. And that queen's going to be charging right into the core of the base. He's going to lalo across the back a little bit later on. We did find a Tesla there on the top right side. Just trying to grab that cannon with the minion. There's a couple of Teslas there. All right, down goes the multi-mortar. We got the rest of the CC troops coming out. Hopefully the queen doesn't wake up the town hall before dealing with the CC troops, looks like. She will deal with the CC first. Nice Coco Loon finds... The tornado, bunch of red air bombs. Perfect. Now the queen doesn't have to deal with that tornado at all. That tornado would have pushed the queen right into the town hall, too. That's actually huge. King pops his ability on the left side. We got the RC coming in as well. We got a, a bit of a nuisance Tesla there hiding in the dead spot. There we go. Queen's on the town hall. Healer's getting hit. Drops the invis. Drops a rage. It'll get the queen through. And here we go with the Lalo on the back end of the base. Stone Slammer from the left, finding seeking air mines all over the place. Rip that Stone Slammer, man. Just immediately double smack with Sam's. It's going to open up some walls here. Not quite enough for the queen to get out. Get the multi inferno down. I mean, that stone slammer is still getting good value, even though it lost almost, almost all of its HP immediately. Balloons on the top side have pretty well died out. We got to get through that multi. The balloons out of the stone slammer are coming in to help now. We also have that inferno dragon in there to help pops the queen's ability to get through the ricochet cannon. A few more balloons on the top side of the base for the cannon. It's got minions in for cleanup. Trying to get through everything as quickly as he can here. Last couple of Teslas need to go down. Queen's stuck on a wall. And I think it's going to finish up before she's able to get out here. No, she does actually get out to help finish it up. 
And there we go, it's a triple from Kazuma. There we go. Zaps out the, not the expo, but the multi-inferno rage tower and not sure what else was there. Might have been just the builder hut there. A couple of early rocket loons and he's going to send a short little blimp to the town hall to take it down. All right. Yeti bomb rages it up. He'll be able to get the town hall down. Maybe grab the expo as well. Perfect. Sneaky goblins grab that storage too. Queen off to the left. Baby dragon on the top side. So it looks like he's going to try to push this queen in towards that scatter shot and royal champion area. See where the king goes in as well. He might send that king here on the bottom side to go for the uh, multi. Yep, there we go. King is in. I'm reading his mind. Does he have a headhunter in for the enemy king? Yes, he does. All right, there we go. We got a Valkyrie coming in. Gonna help the queen out. Ice Golem gonna do a little bit of tanking as the enemy RC targets it. Actually took down the Valkyrie first. King pops his ability to get through some of these buildings. Hunter on defense, gonna slow him down a bit. Ooh, slows him down a lot, actually. King gonna try to get through these last few buildings. The Ice Golem slowing him down, the Skelly slowing down the Queen. That's what the Valkyrie is for. Unfortunately, it died way before that. Queen's gonna have to go to ability here. No, she already used her ability, I guess. She's dead. <laughs> Oof. All right, well, King goes to Phoenix on the bottom side, drops the poison to try to help speed up the Ice Golem going down. We got the Lalo on the top side of the base. He does have a lot of base to get through on this Lalo. Phoenix will grab that ground expo. Can it grab the multi as well? That would actually be huge. In the meantime, the balloons. It's got that warden's ability in effect. Hits the tornado. He's trying to get through the eagle. He does. He has one haste to left in the bag. Drops his last freeze in here as well. The RC gets through the multi archer tower. But she's already used her ability. And this is looking a little sketchy for Pevu. Balloons pushing into the backside. That multi inferno tower is going to be a nuisance. If those balloons go towards it, no, they're going to go to the to the uh, ground expo here. I don't think he gets this. It's going to be a defense. First defense of the match going to Navi. Pevu just has to push this percentage as high as he can. Good try to Pevu. First fail of the match comes in the ninth attack. 80%. Man, this percentage feels low too for this, for this match. Time won't matter. Yep, time's not going to be a factor after all. Rip VA. That just might be the match right there. Last minute plan changes most likely, but we'll see what he does here. This is probably the plan he had to begin with, and then he switched it to go for a faster attack. Now he switched it back to his original plan. This is probably what happened in the background, but we'll never know for sure. Let's see what he zaps out of here. We got the king, queen. He does have the rage gem with the warden. Trying to keep an eye on what he might zap out of here. Except the blimp selected. He's still going over his plan here last second. Taking all the time off the clock. There we go. He's going to zap out the Expo Multi-Inferno Rage Tower here. Wakes up that Town Hall as well. You'd like some post-match interviews? That would be good. <laughs> Alright, King's in on the right side. Queen coming in from the top side of the base. Wall break in. Get a Headhunter for the enemy Queen. I'm going to go for a big hero dive here. Another Headhunter coming in for the enemy King. Doesn't have any more Wall Breakers here. Gonna be interesting. You have the balloons coming in, so just gonna go ahead and send the Lalo. That Rage Gem boosting up. I wonder if he forgot to change off of the Rage Gem, because that is not something they would normally run with a Lalo. I think with all the last minute, like, if he did last minute plan changes, he probably forgot to change the equipment. He might have been going for E Dragons, and that's why he's got the Rage Gem. He is able to get the Town Hall down. Balloons coming in from the bottom side of the base as well. Here comes the Royal Champion from the left side. It's looking good for Klaus. It's looking really good for Klaus. There's no splash damage left for these balloons, so they can just cruise. Scattershot went down. He does have a Wizard Tower on the back end, but that's not going to matter. He's got it. Going to be able to get that Sweeper out of the way. I mean, he's at least got the percentage. I'm pretty sure he's got the triple as well. Expo's about to go down. He still has a ton of balloons left. Man, all these blinking balloons is actually kind of hurting my eyes. I'm not going to lie. That Rage Gem is like a rave going on on the screen. And there we go. Last defense goes down, and that's going to be a triple for Klaus, and that's going to be a perfect war for Navi. Nicely done. 
15 stars to 14. GG. And there we have it. Great performance from both of these teams. And if you guys are wanting to play like the pros and you're curious which hero equipment is best, I recommend checking out this video right here.